Joseph Mongela Munyoki. I work for Inner Death Formation Kenya. Inner Death Formation Kenya is part of a Pan African organization under an umbrella of Inner Death Formation, which works in 10 countries in Africa. Today, we are gathered here as partners to one, discuss about issues that affect our farmers and ourselves also. We are launching a campaign which is being run in the 10 African network countries, which is referred to as Conscious Almen Dare Campaign. Almen is food and terre is land. Food is a right. What we are saying in our, in our, in our slogan or in our, in our theme is food is a right. One is because it is entrenched in one, the International Human Rights Declaration and also in our constitution. It is the role of the government to ensure that there is adequate, sufficient and culturally appropriate food that is available to the citizens. And eating is a vote. Eating is a choice because one, when you go to the market, you have a choice to make to 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 choose whether you are to take organically produced food or you are to take food that is maybe as a very high level of minimum residue levels of chemicals and pesticides, which is in many cases is what is happening in our product, in our markets, as the study has shown. My name is Anne Maina. I'm the National Coordinator of the Biodiversity and Biosafety Association of Kenya. Uh, to start off, the basis of our petition was a desktop wow. research we did, uh, led by the Root to Food Initiative, and uh, where we found out there were toxic ingredients in use in Kenya that are banned in Europe. Uh, some of them were being uh, produced cheaply in China and other countries and were finding their way into Kenya. So when we took the petition to uh, the Parliamentary Health Committee led by uh, Honorable Gladys Boscholet, uh the committee took our issue seriously and we had several sessions even with the uh, members of the various committees, health, agriculture, and even called various stakeholders, including uh, the Pest Control and Products Board. And uh, after those meetings, uh, the Parliamentary Committee went forward and in October 2020 gave their recommendation. One of their recommendations was that the petitioners who included the Biodiversity and Biosafety Association of Kenya, Kenya Organic Agriculture Network, Route to Food Initiative, and Resources Oriented Development Initiatives works with the Pest Control and Products Board and other regulators uh, like CAFIS and others to ensure that products that were identified to be causing uh, cancer, to be carcinogenic, mutagenic, and doctrine disruptors, and causing all these challenges with pollinators and aquatic animals, we should work with them to withdraw these products from the call to action for this campaign is to of farmers to uh, to encourage them to use uh, alternative production uh, methods to avoid use of toxic uh, pesticides. Call to action to agrovets and uh, uh, extension officers to be advising farmers accordingly so that uh, we can all produce safe, nutritious food. And also to consumers so that they can also be uh, demanding for safe uh, food without toxic chemicals. And to the government uh, that uh, for those harmful toxic pesticides, they be withdrawn from the market and uh, also to have uh, stricter uh, regulations in terms of uh, how these pesticides are used by far. I'm Rosina Mbenya, I'm a, the country coordinator at Pelham, Kenya. And uh, even as we make this campaign and awareness on the toxic and the harmful inputs that we have in the market, we also want to inform our farmers and the also all the stakeholders that there are alternatives to that are available, uh, that are safer and uh, are able to sustain the food chains. So even um, before we can, be, we can go to those harmful inputs, let us exhaust all the alternatives that we have and I'm sure 
we are able to have a safer production and be able to maintain the production levels that as a country uh, we subsequently uh, we worked with local Kenyan scientists from various universities, University of Nairobi, Kenyatta University, University of Kabianga, and produced a dossier which submitted to the committee that was formed by the PCPB uh, to look at ways to withdraw these toxic pesticides from the Kenyan market. Uh, Pella and Kenya and the Kenya Organic Agriculture Network have been working with partners and members uh, of our communities that we work with, farmers, to create awareness on the dangers of the use of these uh, toxic pesticides and other agriculture uh, inputs. And uh, we have been also creating the awareness to use local other integrated pest management uh, ways and ecological ways to manage pests and diseases as opposed to using uh, huge amounts of toxic pesticides which have a, ne a negative impact on their health and on the environment. Uh, we would like to see a future where we embrace agroecology and uh, various ways of managing pests and diseases and reduce the dependence on toxic pesticides, withdraw them from the Kenyan market. Number two, reduce the usage of uh, fertilizers. The cost of fertilizers has gone, uh, has ov or d almost doubled, or some, in some cases even gone over double, and uh, this is causing a big challenge. But we have other bio inputs like biofertilizers, like bokashi, which we are working with our partners and using local products in the Kenyan market uh, to produce, uh, use even composting to be able to improve the fertility of our soils. And that is the future. Thank you. Head in research and extension, and I'm here at the capacity representing the director in the crops department. Na alipea na salamu. Mumesipokea? Yeah, so I'm really happy to be here and I'm happy for the organizers and also inner days for the good work you are doing. And maybe what I would say, it is the mandate of every government to provide food for all the citizens, so converted to other uses. So we agree that the, the resources are scarce, water is also scarce. We have seen the issues of climate change and the way the rains are coming have become so erratic, especially in natural areas. We are like, this is almost the fourth season consecutively with a failed season or a below average production for our country. And what does that mean?